overflows understanding the myth around sex i am absolutely against any supremacy either of man or woman of any kind at any level they are both unique and both are independent of one another such has been my approach life long sex is raw energy it has to be transformed and through transformation the transcendence is possible rather than transforming it religions have been repressing it for their own interest and for maintaining the male supremacy and if you repress it the outcome is a perverted human being obsessed with sex and no one has understood sex that remains basically a taboo one of the most significant findings was that woman has a capacity of multiple orgasm a man has the capacity of only a single orgasm the difference is so great that once a woman knows what orgasm is no man can satisfy her and she does not need a male company perhaps that is the reason why for centuries women have been have not been allowed to have even a single orgasmic experience it was easy to avoid it because the woman has no genital orgasm woman does not have any genital orgasm as a result she can produce children without orgasm man can make love to a woman and yet prevent the orgasmic experience happening to her she has a totally different organ the clitoris which has nothing to do with making love it is a separate growth so one can become a mother of a dozen children and not only and not know at all the experience of sexual climax because the genitals is absolutely insensitive part of the female body it has nothing it has to be sensitive for the simple reason that child has to be born and if vagina is sensitive childbirth would be an absolutely un childbirth would not be un would not be painful if vagina is sensitive childbirth would be an absolutely unbearable pain even though vagina is not sensitive childbirth is a great pain something like this you cannot still believe it is natural and very logical and scientific that vagina should be insensitive there is a reason so that when a child is born woman is not in much pain the pain depends on your sensitive organ that is why when anesthesia is given sensitivity is lost vagina is a blind spot on the body you have many blind spots you can be surprised to know that inside your skull where the brain is placed it is absolutely insensitive one would never have thought that brain is our most insensitive organ and it is in a place inside the skull which is absolutely insensitive for thousands of years man has believed that the woman has a vaginal orgasm it was believed all over the world in all the cultures there was no way of checking it also perhaps man never wanted to explore the fact because if the woman becomes aware that she has a separate organ for having orgasm 
she becomes free of man. It is part of her slavery to keep the idea floating in her mind that there is only vaginal orgasm. So when in the beginning of this century the function of clitoris was discovered, it was a tremendous boost to women's liberation movement because the woman became aware in the West that for sexual pleasure she does not need to have to depend on man. That basic slavery is not necessary anymore. There are scientific researchers who say that woman has a point within her genital organ called G-point, which is sensitive and which has the capacity of orgasm. This, is, this has been the exploitation in the West. It is not something new for almost this whole century since the function of clitoris has been discovered. Even persons like Sigmund Freud continue to say that women may have clitoris orgasm, but it is not important. The important orgasm is vaginal. Even Sigmund Freud, Sigmund Freud could not deny the presence of clitoris, but he could not deny the vaginal orgasm either. So the, this is the reason was male dominance. All the psychologists are male chauvinists and they do not want that women to know that she is equal like as a man. And since then there have been researchers who have been who have insisted that women has two sensitive organs for having sexual orgasm. But the greatest researchers have found that vagina cannot have any sense, cannot have this sensitivity by the very nature because vagina is going to be used in childbirth. It cannot have any sensitive part which can give orgasmic pleasure, experience, fulfillment during childbirth. If it was so, then childbirth would have not been so painful. Instead, it would be a great pleasure or joy. That even a man cannot give to a woman by making love. Childbirth as such is a great experience. And if vagina was sensitive, the whole passage, then there would be no greater orgasm than the childbirth. The birth of a child would be such a tremendous orgasmic pleasure. So this logic and researchers have proved that vagina has no sensitivity. The reality is there is no vaginal orgasm. Such has been the understanding of ancient sages. But why do a few scientists go on insisting on it. Now they have started talking about something imaginary G point. It is absolutely absurd because it goes against the very nature. Childbirth prevents the vagina from having any sensitive points within, the particularly an orgasmic point. That is why the childbirth is painful and if it is not painful then after that experience no woman will be interested in a male relationship. But why do these res few researchers go on insisting again and again? The reason is that these are male chauvinists. Just being a scientist does not mean that you have gone beyond your male chauvinistic ideas. They are as ignorant as anyone else. They still want to emphasize the fact that for sexual pleasure, woman is dependent on man. Those 
who have experienced, they know that for sexual fulfillment or orgasm, they are not dependent on man. This is possible. This is possible only if there is that imaginary G point. I am not, I am neither a scientist nor a sex researcher. This is not my business. My logic was simple and natural based on the, my own deep understanding, meditative understanding and that of the ancient sages. It emerges out of my deep mystical understanding. I have looked at both researchers and I agree with those who say that the woman has only clitoris or case. It seems to me that these people are more authentic. It seems to me that these people are more authentic and sincere. They are more interested in truth than in the supremacy of man over woman. And I am absolutely against any kind of supremacy, either of man or woman. They are both unique and both are independent of one another. Their togetherness should be based on independence and respect for one another. Love is understanding. If you understand that the each one, the male and the female, both are unique and they are in, independent. Once they are independent, then a third term comes in interdependence. Interdependence for certain things. Nobody is dependent for his or her pleasure on the other. If they share, it is beautiful. If they do not want to share, they are both independent. Man can have sexual orgasm without a woman, but he is not ready to allow the woman to have sexual orgasm without him. And that is the male chauvinism and the cause of exploitation. I am simply making a logical point. I have no vested interest in women having a G string or G point or X point or any point from the alphabet. It is not my interest at all. My emphasis is on presenting truth as it is. Once you know the truth, the dependence will disappear. I am speaking this on the basis of my own experience with life that I have lived so closely. I have lived life as my eternal beloved. Life is my eternal beloved. So that's why this, the ancient scriptural psychology focuses on inner man and inner woman. But I can see the cunningness of a, few, of a few people who are even scientists, but their mind and their approach is not scientific, it is not logical, and it does not convince me in any way. It is male chauvinistic approach. Enough for now. <music>